Alright guys, so I picked up this Justin Bieber doll action figure singing thing at Walmart exclusively because it was on sale and here at Everyday Alchemy I've been doing a lot of things with rockets recently and I found these which are C65 engines and they're just huge so I'm going to jerry-rig some sort of system where I can make Justin Bieber the first teenage girl in space won't that be fun for everybody? let's take him out of the package right now and see what all comes included and I'll tell you what I think I'm going to install on my rocket system you really did a good job of protecting him in here. Now what do I care? I'm blowing him up. Alright, we've got the back panel. There we go. He's got his own chair. He won't be needing that in space. And I broke it. He's got his own microphone. He won't be singing where he's going. Although he sings right now if you push this super ghetto button on him. I think we'll probably integrate that into the launch somehow. But I'm going to cut him out. He's pretty heavy. Which stinks. I thought a teen pop idol like Justin Bieber would be uh, in better shape. I'm hoping that this C engine can get him as far up into the air as I want. Alright, let's get him launched up. Okay, so as you can see, the Beebs has now been outfitted for his flight into orbit in that I've come underneath his cool, tight-fitting black shirt and added orange duct tape for safety. And I did this to attach not one, but two of those sea rockets, which will conveniently launch flames down his pants. Ironic, I know. And the payload will deploy up behind his head. This should be a very interesting flight. All I have to do is align some sort of straw for my launch rod, and it ought to be good to go. Alright, so as you can see, I have done a few more augmentations to the beaver. I have cut a slot in the back of his shirt so that this straw, which has been also orange duct taped in, will work as the guide rail while I've wired, finally, the ignition systems in parallel and twisted them together right under his butt. And then I've added an orange helmet made of duct tape for safety, plus a shark fin, because she's awesome. <laughs> it's times like this that I feel like Sid from Toy Story. We got the beaver all rigged up on my clothes hanger launch rod. I've got the wiring completed in parallel back here to my running wires, which are about five feet long. Hopefully that's a safe distance. The weather is perfect. I've got just enough light that we can see the flight path, but not so much that anybody should report this launch. So I'm going to hand off the camera and go get to my leads. Using a AA battery to launch as my ignition system. And countdowns are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the beaver became an astronaut. He looks happy about it. Alright, so in the aftermath, we can see that the beeb shark fin helmet broke off, his jacket caught on fire. And sadly, only one of his engines deployed. This makes me very unhappy. I guess we'll never know what would have happened. His jeans slash ass caught on fire too, and that was pretty great. But this was a project well spent. Thanks for watching.